Swear One TV, and I'm back with another video, you know what I'm saying? In your face, you dig. Hey, you talking about, you know what I'm saying? Today, we're gonna be getting to January sneaker releases. I know I'm kinda late. Today is January 8th. I was like eight days into the month. I'm hella late, but it is what it is. The shoe actually comes out tomorrow, but it is what it is. We still gonna talk about it, you know what I'm saying? Chop it up. Hey, time at. And yeah, let's get straight into it. You did. Alright, so first nigga up that we're gonna talk about actually comes out tomorrow, which will be today, because this video probably will drop the day that the shoe comes out. Dropping tomorrow, we have the Air Jordan 1 Volt Gold. Now, this shoe I do really like. You know what I'm saying? I heard people talking about it's trash, whatever, because they want the yellow toes to release and whatnot. But I'm cool on those, because I don't really like the yellow toes. I'm not a fan of the Shattered Backboard 1.0 color blocking. So like Shattered Backboard is bread toes, Pine Green 1.0s, Core Purple 1.0s. I'm not really a big fan of those sneakers because I don't like that color blocking. But with this Jordan, Jordan 1 Volt Gold, I am a fan of it. They are actually on the way. They were this, It was a Christmas gift from my brother. He bought them early from StockX. And y'all know how StockX is. They always late. So I'm not going to get them to after release day, but it's cool anyway, you know what I'm saying? I'm still going still gonna to do my review and don't flip for them. Yeah, it is. So on January 9th, we got the Air Jordan 1 Bolt Golds. Next up on the list, on January 13th, we got this pair of What The Looking Dunks. These are the Jason Dang and Nike SB Low Pro Street Hawker. Now, I know all of y'all out there is SB Hype Beast by now. Not I. These is ass. But it's a cool concept, you know what I'm saying? I know it's a whole bunch of different. Is it Japanese culture? I think it's Japanese culture. A whole bunch of different Japanese cultural type things inside these sneakers, so you know what I'm saying? So I respect it. You know what I'm saying? All that extra stuff, you know? But I just don't like them. They don't look good to me. It's just, I like playing dunks. Like I said, I don't even like SBs, I just like dunks. You know what I'm saying? Like Kentucky's, UNLV's, uh, Syracuse. I like those type of dunks, you know what I'm saying? But these cool though. These, they cool, they cool. They still trash to me, in my humble opinion. Hey, time at. But, like I said, they cool for, they, it's more like a collector's item. You know what I'm saying? This is what I look at as a collector's item. Like, I couldn't see, I wouldn't see nobody wearing these, in my opinion. If you wearing them, you rocking them, shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? But to me, it's just a collector's piece just to sit there and look at in your closet. Yeah. But, January 13th, we got these Nike SB Dunk Low Street Hawkers. Okay, so coming up on January 14th, we have a lot of dunks coming out that day. Why is Nike releasing so many dunks that day? I don't know. But, it's dope because they're releasing them in men's grade school. Preschool, I don't know about Tyler. I know they're doing men grade school and preschool. I don't know about Tyler though. But that is cool, you know what I'm saying? All last year it was just strictly men's, you know what I'm saying? Just get what you get, you know what I'm saying? But now they're doing it in actual size run, which is cool, you know what I'm saying? Because me, I still wear grade school. I wear a 7Y, you know what I'm saying? So, if this gives me a better chance to get a dunk, thank you, Nike. It probably won't, but I'm still gonna try anyway. But, on January 4th, we have the UNLV Dunks. This is probably the one I will go after. We have the Vast Gray Dunks. We have the Coast Dunk. And we have this Women's Black and White Dunk. Those are the four that I had on my radar, so that's the four I'm going to use today. But yeah. All of them cool colorways, all of them dope, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just curious to what was Nike, you know what I'm saying, thought process to releasing them all in the same day, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, Nike do stuff strategically. We all know that. They think that we don't know, but we know. We know, so there's something behind it, but are we ever gonna figure it out? No. But, like I said earlier, the one that I'll probably go after is the UNLV, because it is coming out in grade school sizes, so I would try for that six and a half or at seven because for me personally I don't know how dunks fit never had a dunk in my life I don't know how they fit you know what I'm saying if they fit like a one 
a Jordan one or they fit like an Air Force one. You know what I'm saying? They could fit like neither and be their own sneaker. But yeah, so I will try for that six and a half or seven. See if I can get them. Probably not. It's probably still be the same hype, same stupid shit going on. But yeah. On the 14th, we got these dunks dropping along with a couple other colorways that I didn't mention. You did. Next up on the list, on January 15th, we have the Midnight Navy, aka the Georgetown. Jordan 3s now to the, to the, to me, they cool. You know what I'm saying? They cool, they cool, they cool. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, ain't nothing crazy about them, you know? I actually would, nah, I wouldn't wear these. Nah. Nah, I wouldn't wear these. They just, they too plain for me. I know these plain right here, but it's just too dark of a color to fill up the whole sneaker. In my opinion, you know what I'm saying? If they would've left the upper white, you feel me, you feel me? If you don't come from, you feel me? And then leave that little I don't know, it's not patent leather, so I don't know what to call it. That little leather piece at the bottom, put that, left that navy, but put the leather on top white. Then you got some cooking, but out of all, all navy upper, it just ain't it. But they cool though for y'all Georgetown fans, y'all people who love navy blue stuff like that. Might be a cool shoe for y'all, you feel me? But yeah, zero fifteenth, you got the Georgetown, aka what do they call them, Midnight Navy, Jordan 3s. You did. Next up on the next day, hey time out. Got the Air Jordan 13 Starfish on January 16th. Um, these are cool. They probably they just trying to you know what I'm saying, get into that shattered backboard hype, get other silhouettes to sell more. That's all it is for real, for real. But it is a cool shoe though. It is a cool shoe. You know what I'm saying? If I, I'm not gonna go for it, but if I was like gifted a pair or I can get a pair for under retail, yeah, I'll cop it. But just looking at it here, just seeing it, nah, not really. It is cool though. To see a orange on a 13, it is cool though. I do wish it was more of a bread color blocking though, instead of a cherry color blocking. Because then black, orange with the black in the bottom, that'd have been dope. But it's still a dope shoe though. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I know a lot of people go after because the hood love 13s. The hood love 12s and 13s. So these will probably sell out. No cap. But yeah. On January 16th, we got the Air Jordan 13 Starfish. You did. Next up on the list, we on January 21st, which is actually my birthday when I turn 22. You dig. But January 21st, we have another Starfish. We got the Women's Starfish Air Jordan 4s. These are actually really like, I really like them. They remind me of bread. They just, they got this like mesh material over layer on top of the sneaker. I wonder if you can cut that off. If you can cut that off and customize this shoe and just leave it orange instead of having that black mesh like material, that'd be pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Just customize your own shoe how you want it to be. That'd be dope. But um, like I said, I like it. I think it's a dope shoe. It's just, it's a bread color blocking shoe. It's pretty much just orange instead of red. That's, that's just what it is. I really like them though. To me, they're dope. I will try to go after it, but you know women's shoes, they strangely sell out. You know what I'm saying? Like some colorway, there's like, people don't be looking for it. Like the eights, the burgundy eights, and uh, what's it called? Tech Chrome sixes. Those sat for a long time. You still find the Tech Chromes in some stores, for real, for real. But these, I feel like these I have, I feel like these will sit for like a day or two. Cause I don't really feel like nobody's gonna be going out. People are gonna save their money for February. February has a lot of heat dropping, you know what I'm saying? So people save their money for February. Not really worried about January, but it's cool though. But yeah, this is probably my birthday cop, if I can get them, cause I really like these. But yeah. January 21st, we got the Starfish Women's Jordan 4. Next up on the list on January 27th, we got a phone. They still bringing out phones. They bring out a good colorway though. 
a, it's a, very, a retro colorway. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. They bringing back the vault phone positives. You know what I'm saying? I remember these came out when I was in middle school, I think. You know what I'm saying? That's when, that's when phones was popping. You know what I'm saying? You had the Asteroid, Weatherman, Spider-Man, had the Concord joints. You know what I'm saying? That's when, how can I forget the galaxies? You know what I'm saying? But that's when phones was really popping. I remember this is one of the colorways that came out. I'm going stupid. You know what I'm saying? I'm also some from Virginia, so you know what I'm saying? Phones is just, that's what we do around here. But, yeah, like I said, I don't wear phones anymore. I've only had, I've only owned one pair of phones my whole life, so it ain't really saying too much. But, I do like the shoe. Am I gonna cop it? Of course not. But, for my phone lovers out there, y'all should get these. Y'all should really get these. I think this is a dope colorway, you know what I'm saying? Just one solid, loud colors pop out there, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's a dope shoe. Very much a dope shoe. I fucks with it. So yeah, January 27th, we got the Nike Air Foam Posit Vault. You did. Next up on the list, on January 28th, we got a Nike Dunk Low Premium Medium Curry. You know what I'm saying? Had to do it with the exquisite medium curry. Like a lot. But, I actually do like these. You know what I'm saying? It remind me, it was, remind me of something that Travis Scott would put out. This is like a Travis Scott colorway, for sure. But I do like these. If y'all don't know, I like the color brown. Brown is fire. You know what I'm saying? I like I like real like earth tone colors. Black, gray, olive, brown, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is this is a dope shoe. You know what I'm saying? This print man, this is gonna sell out though. I'm not even gonna try to get it. I'm not. Cause I I just don't get up for sneakers no more. I just don't. Like sneakers app is just Straight L, especially for me. Last year I hit on the sneakers at was the Flint 13s. That was in what April, March, whenever they came out. Long ass time ago. I ain't hit since then. Yeah, exactly. But so yeah, I'm not really gonna try and get these. If I could get them for retail, I definitely would. But I probably not. So yeah, leave it at that. But anyway. January 28th, we got the Nike Dunk Love Premium Medium Curry. Yeah, it. Now, this shoe right here is actually one that I've been looking forward to since like November. I think that's when leaked images started coming out. And that is the Air Jordan 4 Top Haze. I hope I'm saying that word right. Top, top, have you said it? Big love. But I really like this shoe. It's just. Brown, what brown, olive, whatever color that is, black, infrared with the little white midsole on the back. They fire. Has a little crackled midsole on the top and the bottom of the um, what's that shit called? Mudguard. To me, it's a fire shoe. To me, it's dope. Most people like it because they say it like the um, Friends and Family Travis Scott Fours, which it does. It resembles it a lot. But. Me personally, I just like to shoot for what it is. It's a dope colorway. It's something I would wear. Like I said, it's a whole bunch of earth tone colors. I just like it. It's fire. It's hella dope. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Oh, on January 28th, we got the Top Haze Air Jordan 4. You did. And last up on the list, we have a Yeezy. A Yeezy. Now this, not this colorway, but this silhouette. The 380, I like the 380, but they give it too many ass colorways. That's just the truth. But I think this one's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? This actually isn't confirmed for January, but so it doesn't have a date. It just says January 2021. And we have the Yeezy Boost 380, Yakarite, Yakarite. I'm gonna stop trying to say it. Whatever that is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think these are dope. You know what I'm saying? It's just a different hues of tan, you know what I'm saying? Grays, cream, whatever. Yeah. I think it's a dope shoe. Like I said, I like the 380. 380 is a dope silhouette. It look weird, but I like that weird shit. And yeah, nothing really much to say about it. 
because they really don't got a release date yet but yeah these are fire in my opinion i'll wear these for sure for sure for sure and yeah coming out in january maybe maybe not we don't know easy boost 380 and i'm not gonna try to say it yeah, it is. Alright, so that was this month's sneaker releases, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what you was feeling, what you won't feeling, what you gonna cop this month, you know what I'm saying? Somebody last month said the Kobe Grinches. I would have put that in my video, but I didn't know that released last month when you said it. I'm sorry, I really didn't. Thought it released later this year, but you know what I'm saying? Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. All that hot shit, you know, to get your boy to 1K subscribers, 1K on the way. It's your boy 1TV, and I'm gone. You dig? Take your home, music. Chill. She say boss up, so I drop the top on that bitch. She wanna fucking with.